Hello Husky Nation, I'm Nicole Ryan and welcome to This Week in Top Shelf Sports. I'm going to update you on everything that has taken place over the past weekend and give you a sneak peek to upcoming events in the world of Husky Athletics. So with that being said, let's get it started. NIU softball welcomed Western Michigan University Saturday with some late season doubleheader play. Unfortunately for the Huskies, the team ended up dropping both contests, falling 5-4 in one game and 5-3 in the other. The team gave Western Michigan all they could, but the Broncos were simply too much. Huskies will look to bring the fight to Valparaiso, Indiana when they take on the Crusaders on Wednesday. The showdown is set for a 2 p.m. start. After winning 4 of 5, the baseball team dropped three in a row to Ball State over the weekend. The Huskies were on a roll coming off their best offensive output of the season until they traveled to Ball State. The Cardinals had their way with the Huskies all weekend, taking Game 1 and 3 by one run, but destroying NIU 11-0 in Game 2. The Huskies are currently in action at home against Valparaiso today at 3. They welcome Illinois State to the Ralph tomorrow. The track and field team competed against over 20 teams at the 109th annual Drake Relay over the weekend. Junior jumper Javanya White finished in third place for the triple jump with a leap of 13.06 meters. The Huskies will finally return this week to the Husky Classic this Thursday before their final tune-up for the MAC Championships. The first event begins at 3 p.m. The men's tennis team closed out their solid season with the loss to Buffalo in the semifinal round of the MAC Championships. Buffalo defeated the Huskies for the second time in two weeks and ended their season the same way they did last year. Redshirt freshman Christopher Ortega finished the season with a team-leading 14-7 singles record. NIU's 5-8 record earns them their seventh consecutive season with an above 500 record. Good luck next season, boys. The men's golf team also played the closing holes of their season at the MAC Championships this past weekend. The Huskies finished in fifth place with a final round team score of 306, their best of the weekend. Redshirt senior Ju Young Lee closed out his Husky career with a 7th place individual finish after shooting a 74 and a 75 in the final two rounds. Junior Thomas DeMarco also finished in the top 25 for NIU. The Huskies finished the spring season with two top five finishes. With the NFL draft officially over, no Huskies were able to shake hands with the commissioner just yet, but a few NIU hopefuls will get the chance to make the roster. Six former Huskies were signed to training cap deals over the weekend, including Corey Thomas signing with the Bears. Five-year tight end Shane Wyman will get the chance with the New England Patriots, while defensive standout Joan Bobby Jones IV is training with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Wide receivers Chad Beebe and Christian Blake will also get their chance to showcase their speed to the NFL teams. Good luck to all six Huskies. The 2018 IFC Tugs Championship ended Saturday with an upset fashion as the reigning champions were dethroned. Number three seeded Phi Sigma Kappa defeated number one seed Phi Kappa Theta Saturday in the championship match to take home the hardware. Phi Sig also had another reason to come out on top, to honor former NIU student and brother Alex Budzes, who passed away last June. Number four seeded Phi Kappa Psi finished in third place after defeating Sigma Alpha Epsilon. It was a very crazy week. I was there every single day, and congratulations to Phi Sigma Kappa on their victory. Well, guys, that'll do it for your weekly update on what's happening in the world of NIU sports. Make sure to follow us on Twitter at TopShelf underscore NIU for all your up-to-the-minute news on everything Husky Athletic related, and check out our various podcasts on SoundCloud. Thanks for tuning in this week. I'm Nicole Ryan, and as always, go Huskies.